SpongeBob popsicles, even though sometimes they look absolutely hideous. They were still a great treat and a huge part of many people's childhoods. I don't blame that kid. Run away from the pop school as fast as you can. And today, we are going to be talking about the history of Spongebob Popsicles. Yes, another video about Spongebob Popsicles, you know, for some views. Uh, never mind, I, I just love talking about Spongebob Popsicles. Yeah, that's why. Popsicle needed to hop on the money bandwagon, which was Spongebob. And they teamed up with Nickelodeon in 2002 to officially create the infamous Popsicle that we all know and love today. And this instantly became a huge success. I mean, whenever you heard that iconic ice cream truck music, you went up to your parents and begged them for $2 so you could get a delicious SpongeBob Popsicle. I mean, who wouldn't want a SpongeBob Popsicle on a nice hot summer day? I mean, give me a SpongeBob Popsicle before I die of a heat stroke. There were many other character Popsicles like Jimmy Neutron, Scooby-Doo, Mario, and just many more famous characters, but none lived up to the success of the Spongebob Popsicle. And quite frankly, they never really fell out of style. I mean, every summer they'd just be an iconic treat for decades. Popsicle also did a couple other stuff with Nickelodeon and Spongebob, but they never really lived up to the ultimate hype of the original Spongebob Popsicle and just for more information about the popsicle, here's one of the earliest like adverts or I don't know I don't know what to call it on like those like ice cream trucks just for SpongeBob popsicles. I mean, these just kind of stood the test of time. One of those things, you know, you'd just be sitting on a hot summer day throwing your Nerf football with a bite taken out of it and you see the ice cream truck pull over and you beg for a SpongeBob popsicle. I mean, who wouldn't want a fruit punch cotton candy ice cream with gumball eyes topped on it, especially with your favorite character, Spongebob, on it? Mm-mm-mm, bussin'. The flavors are melting on my tongue. And there's not really that much history to Spongebob Popsicles. Nothing really changed throughout the years. I mean, they did change the packaging a couple times, but that's really it. This is an old packaging. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys remember this one. This one's like the early 2000s one. And then uh, they changed it to this one. This is like the new packaging, the current one. And then they got a surge of popularity in about early 2021 off of people on the internet trying to find a perfect SpongeBob Pop School, a very hard quest. Uh, creators like Brent TV and a couple other people like this uh, Wolf Tunes YT guy. Yeah, I know. Pretty irrelevant. Kind of ruined the trend if you ask me. And I'm pretty sure Spongebob Popsicles are going to stay for a while. I mean, they're just orangutan a banging treats. And they always sell a bunch in the summertime. And also, combine that with the success it's had on YouTube and TikTok, Spongebob Popsicles are here to stay. By the way, Happy New Year. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for sticking around for the year of 2021. Hopefully 2022 is a good year for this channel. I'm going to try to post a little more consistently. Wolf Tunes YT. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Wolf Tunes YT.